everybody's friend It's Tyler He's your only black friend Because your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He's Bob and Richard Pryor So just sit and stare It's everybody's friend It's Tyler It's everybody's friend It's Tyler Hey guys, Tyler here. Now before I start this video, I have a really serious announcement to all Europeans who watch my channel. More recently, the European Union passed something called Article 13. Article 13 does not allow you to share memes on social media or make response videos under fair use or make video game streams on Twitch.com. If a person, for example, want to share an article with you or a video with you, you can also get taxed through the link tax. Express your concerns to the politicians by going to www.savetheinternet.com. Honestly, when I hear news about this, I'm just kind of curious just what the fuck are people thinking in power? Like seriously, just what the fuck are people thinking? Like seriously, how could a group of people just sit there and say, you know what, let's pass something like Article 13, that way people have less freedom, not more freedom. Thanks to this action, it's safe to say that the European Union just sucks major ass. In fact, I will go further and say that the European Union can suck my big black cock. More recently on social media, I spotted something that was just so stupid that I have no choice but to respond to it. This chart is called the Pyramid of White Supremacy, and it goes from normalization to genocide. So let's see how big of a white supremacist I am, according to this chart. In difference, there are two sides to every story, apolitical beliefs, avoiding confrontation, Politics don't affect me. I'm sorry, but there are two sides to every story. I mean, after all, not every single thing is just black and white. Like, there are some people with different stories and some people with other stories. So basically, there are two sides to every story. Minimization. White savior complex. Not all white people. Not believing POC experiences. Denial of white privilege. Post-racism. Attentions. Impact. I'm very lost on why you guys think that saying not all white people is a bad thing. Like seriously, there are some people who are racist, and there are some people who are not racist, and obviously not all white people are racist. As far as not believing people of color experiences, I don't believe somebody just because they're black or white or whatever. I believe a person if they have evidence. As far as white privilege, I honestly do not believe in that idea. Like, basically, there are certain classes of people based upon class. For example, there are poor people, there are rich people, there are middle class people. Basically, these types of people have different income because of their circumstances. There are poor black people, there are poor white people, there are rich white people, there are rich black people, and there are middle class black people and middle class white people. People do not have it good because of their skin color. People have it good because of their circumstances and hard work. Veil racism, victim blaming, racist joke, Eurocentric curriculum, tokenism, cultural appropriation, racist icons. Here's a really good racist joke that I have for you guys. What do you call a Hispanic that is super clean? Spick and span. As for cultural appropriation, guess what? Everybody appropriates from somebody else. I guess people cannot have pizza from the Italians, or Chinese food from the Chinese, or Japanese food or movies from the Japanese. Hell, by this logic, I cannot speak English right now. Come on, Tyler, just think, 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 think. Hola, como estas? Me llamo Tyler, mucho gusto. Oh, wait a second, I can't speak Spanish right now, because Spanish is a European language. Oh, wait, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me speak the African languages. Oh my god, this is going to be super hard because there's like a lot of clicking sounds, so here I go. Oh, oh, I know. What about French? Uh, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Oh, wait a second, that's European. Damn it all! Discrimination, racial profiling, mass incarceration, racial slurs, fear of PLC, anti-immigration policies. Wait a second. You're telling me that being against illegal immigration and wanting limited immigration is now white supremacy. 
That is just so much bullshit. Just so much. Just because somebody is against massive immigration, uncontrolled immigration, does not mean they support white supremacist ideology. Like literally, without any kind of borders for nations, there are no nations at all. As far as mass incarceration, black people in America commit the most crime. Just because a group commit the most crime does not mean that's evidence of white supremacy. All it tells me is that there are a certain group of black people within the community that commit these crimes even though they know it's not okay. Black people in this country are way more freer than in the past, and yes, black people have their own personal agency. Are there some stuff in America that's not fair? Absolutely. However, black people, like everybody else, were not victims. Finally, calls for violence, KKK neo-Nazi burning crosses, violence, lynching, hate crimes, police brutality, and obviously mass murder. So there you go, according to that chart, I'm like the biggest black white supremacist in the entire world. I just love this self-hatred, just love it!